Who is Lord Genesis, and why should you care? Well, if you ask him, he's a victim. That's all I ever meant from anything I've said, dude. It's just people take shit out of context. Okay, so what's been taken out of context? I don't care about age. I date anybody. It doesn't matter. I don't follow society's rules. If you feel you have chemistry towards someone, you know, like you connect in a spiritual way, then go for it. Whether they're, you know, 14, 48, 99, whatever, doesn't matter, dude. Um, what is there to take out of context there? You're saying it's fine to affiliate yourself with a 14 year old as long as there's a spiritual connection there. Sure, 12 is cool with me. No. That's great, man. Oh. See, the funny thing about adolescence is they never sold their soul yet. Wait. And so they still have purity in them. And if you can get one young like that, then that's freaking great. I need to play that one more time. And if you can get one young like that, then that's freaking great. In Jared's own words, the ability to take advantage of and manipulate underaged and underdeveloped children is freaking great. Subs to this channel might remember a video circa March 2019 where I green screened a puppet into a genuine resplosion on one of Jared's streams. In true beta fashion, Jared allows a hater in his chat to rile him up to the point where he's barking his insecurities through the door in his parents' house when they ask him to turn the music down, all before issuing a death threat to Chris, one of his prominent detractors, if I can use that term without dark side Phil sliding up my ass. This results in Jared having his computer taken away from him. Thank God for parents being able to rein in their underdeveloped children when they don't know better. He's stuffing the people on the internet. I'm gonna get my computer taken away, but I'll get it back. Yeah, I'm gonna I'll take that computer away. I'll man. get it back, motherfucker. No, I'll you won't. Back, no, I'm taking Fuck it you. away. What you? What you? Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Just don't take it away. Think of this goddamn shit. I'm a grown ass man, motherfucker. No, you're God not. God damn it. You live in my house. No. Nobody wants to. What? Yo! Jesus Christ! Jesus! What? <laughs> right, so after this, uh, Jared ends up frothing at the mouth and in what he later describes as him hulking out in what is clearly a really alpha display, he makes a death threat and then he gets his computer taken away. Months go by and Jared makes his return and uh, not even a night or two into it uh he's starting a discord now so you know i'm a curious man <laughs> i end up in that discord oh what what i'd bing bong a 12 year old bro what do you think about that chrissy poo and people are like dude you're a beta he's like i don't give a fuck bitch if they want it i give it to him x kong Listen, I know you're thinking this is just some sort of internet funny guy, like he's a wannabe Sam Hyde. Something bad is gonna happen tomorrow. Trust me, guys. But no, let me uh, play the rest of the clip from before. Sure, 12 is cool with me. That's great, man. See, the funny thing about adolescence is they never sold their soul yet. And so they still have purity in them. And if you can get one young like that, then that's freaking great. Hell yes, I would, dude. I would date an 11-year-old, 9-year-old, doesn't matter. I look in the spiritual aspect of it. If I spiritually connect to someone, it doesn't matter, dude. 99, 8, 1,000 years old, doesn't matter. Quantum Most of the time, though, their parents probably wouldn't be cool with that, and that's understandable. There it is. A recognition that a majority of parents wouldn't allow an eight-year-old the choice in who they date. They're a child. So especially when those people are 10, 20, 30 years older than their child. Bleh. But Jared clings to this weird, nah, kids are mature and smart argument. But the funny thing is a lot of parents are, are so stupid and they insult their own children saying, basically, you know, it's like saying they're stupid. My kid's stupid. So I don't want them dating someone older because they're just going to make stupid choices because they're dumb. I mean, what kind of piece of crap parent says that? A responsible one. Most people are capable of growth in such a capacity throughout their entire life that every decision that they make that is in their past seems significantly less informed than the decision that they could make now. Because as we live, we grow and parents exist to bring children to term so that they can make their own 
informed decisions. Eight years old is below the age of consent. Well below the age of consent. I'll be honest, I'm not your average YouTuber. I'm not out for your likes and your comments. A subscription would be nice, but I'm not going to beg you for it. So, I took my finest poking stick and I ventured over to this human dumpster fire's channel to see if I could get some answers to some direct questions. And I did, before I got blocked. Well, you know what, Kyle, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, but if they're going to assume, then they're going to assume. What are you gonna do? Can't please everyone. This is Jira's response to me telling him he needs to be direct and blatant with his answers because otherwise he will leave room for assumption and speculation and things to be taken out of context, as he likes to say. So, pressuring him very directly, I was asking him, is an eight-year-old capable of consent? As long as you're not hurting anyone else, you can do what you want to do. Still room for misinterpretation there, so I ask his ass again, is an eight-year-old capable of consent? Yeah, sure. Eight-year-olds can consent, sure. I would even say perhaps a bit younger. We got him. <laughs> this dude said eight. These people, they're so years sad, old. saying that children do not have, a, don't have a mind of their own. That's just so terrible. Oh, it's say. the same thing, Jared. Okay. To say that they can't consent, even it's just yeah, terrible. no, you you sick bastard. I can't say it's wrong if it's if it's mutual consent. Who am I to say that's wrong? <sighs> mutual consent between an eight-year-old. So I ask this clown the next organic question, which is if you were a parent and your daughter, eight years old, wanted to date someone in their 30s, in their 40s, how, how would, you, would you allow that? Sayel, so, I, that's, that's on them. I mean, oh, oh, who, the eight I wouldn't know if that person was bad or not. And I oh. think at eight years old, you can, you know, make those choices. Uh huh. That's just how I personally feel. Now, right. if they were three, Obviously, that's a different story, but... Well, so where's the cutoff? Eight, nine. I, I think you have a brain of your own. Okay. 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 Bruh. Bruh. Get them off the, get them off the internet. Do you want to be the platform that's allowing this guy to build a following of potentially young people? Or worse, people with like-minded ideologies? Or even worse, somebody that's just impressionable and maybe is going to be taught by this guy? Bruh, you know what to do. You I would let my eight-year-old do what they like within reason. What? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't really put borders on them, to be honest with you. Okay. What is humanity really about, you know? Because to me, it's about people accepting different ideas and ideologies. That's just how I feel. Really makes you think. Imagine that defense like after somebody like broke into a home or, you know, stole a car, uh, murdered somebody. Well, you know, I just think it's all about people with different mindsets and, and acceptance. And if that's if that's not the world that we are living in, then I can't say that the humanity is, you know, what the hell are you talking about? So I got one more question answered before Jared blocked me in the midst of my search for enlightenment, where I asked, if he considered a six-year-old mature, would he be intimate with that six-year-old? There's no reason why I couldn't, Sayel. I'm not saying that I would, but there's no reason why I couldn't, okay? Okay. I don't know why you're still asking me this. You've been asking me like the same questions like five times now. Yeah, because you've been dodging the questions. Because I think even that peanut-sized brain understands that. There may be a reason why you shouldn't. I, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not touching this no more, you know? I don't know if this is a signal boost. I don't know if it's just a spotlight on some of the n nonsense going on, on on the internet, but I've seen this before on YouTube. I've seen it in text format. I've seen live coaching in a capacity that I could not stop on this, what I consider the surface internet, but now there's a face to it. And the face is Jared Genesis. And I can't help but believe that we're seeing him and he's talking freely about what he, he's about right now. But behind the scenes, he's, you know, when the camera goes off, he's doing stuff like this. Just try a back bend lull. You arch your back up with your hands and feet planted, 
Try on the bed. Lol. Bro, no. No. Report the bed. No. Message. When you ask this guy if he's trolling, he's, uh, he's telling you he's walking to the beat of his own drum. Why do you think that I'm trolling? Because I walk to the beat of my own drum? Because I don't follow set rules of society? Why do you consider that trolling? The true comedic irony of it all is that this dude lives with his parents and they need to sit their 33 year old underdeveloped child down and explain to him in terms he can understand whether he chooses to accept it or not exactly why what he is about is wrong the fact that this fool doesn't even understand that there's like a problem with him spitting his gospel on online is it's wild you know they're stupid and then and then there's Jared. What is it with Jared's? <laughs> you know? I don't... I, let me not go there. I see that Keemstar has already forwarded this guy's uh, stuff to YouTube, and I hope they take the necessary action. I obviously do not condone uh, contacting or trying to get any information on or from this person. Leave it alone, man. Gaze from afar until that fire is out. Take it easy and stay out of trouble. Love you.